Ripple sold $535 million worth of XRP in 2018. Ripple XRP sold $535.56 million worth of XRP in 2018, according its quarterly report for Q4 2018 at least end January 24. The report further notes that the sales of XRP tokens in Q4 2018 amounted to $129.03 million worth, which is equivalent to 0.24% of global XRP volume. The Q4 average XRP daily volume was reportedly equivalent to $585.7 million and is the highest since the first quarter of the year. During Q4 3 billion XRP was reportedly released out of cryptographic escrow while 2.4 billion were returned. According to the statement, the remaining 600 million XRP not returned to escrow are being used in a variety of ways to help support the XRP ecosystem including the Ripple Net Accelerator program and XPRING investments like Securitize. The report also notes that XRP's volatility of daily returns was 5% in Q4, which is its lowest value since the last quarter of 2016. In Q4 2018 the correlation of XRP price movements returned to the elevated level seen through the end of Q1 2018 through early Q3 2018. Prior to the release of the quarterly results, Crypto analytics firm Massari published report, alleging that XRP's market capitalization could be overvalued by as much as $6 billion. The report states that XRP's liquid circulating supply could be overestimated by 48%, putting the Ktool market cap at $6.9 billion instead of the $13 billion currently reported on OIN market cap. Massari noted that, that it is impossible to make exact estimates without a disclosure from Ripple, which it had not received by the time of publication. Earlier this week, the Institute for Fintech Research at Beijing's Tsinghua University on blockchain is search scholarship with the support of IPO. The program reportedly intends to bring together the best graduate students in China in 2019 to study global blockchain regulations and industry development. Ripple's XRP last three months wrapped most promising future competitor against BTC. Being in the headlines on a daily basis is undeniably a characteristic that shines for Ripple's XRP. As we are closing into the end of the year, a short summarization of the last couple of months would be a read worthy for any trader or crypto enthusiast who is looking forward to 2019. One user, who goes by the moniker Zombie XRP, asked Changpeng Zizhao, Binance's fervent chief executive, to list XRP as a base pair. In response to the quip CZ, being a good sport and all, responded by writing be careful what you wish for, ending his cryptic message with a cheeky smiley face. ND now, just a few days later, Zhao, revealed that his brainchild Binance will be adding the aforementioned asset as a Wuo base shortly. Back in 2016, Corda, an open source enterprise product, was announced by the blockchain supported software developer R3. Now, it received an additional application named Orda Settler Hitch Targets to deliver and offer most services which business would ask to engage blockchain technology. He deployment of the Corda Settler and its support for XRP as the first settlement mechanism is an important step in showing how the powerful ecosystems cultivated by two of the of the world's most influential crypto and blockchain communities can work together. Jendel Brown, CTO with the aim to reach global scale of app utilization. The firm behind the settlement product is already in cooperation with over 200 firms in various industries. Ripple's CEO target, Rad Garlinghouse pointed out clearly the firm's goal of delivering speedy solutions which take down friction inherent in completing cross-border transactions to banks and financial entities via block tech by replacing SWIFT. He technologies that banks use today that SWIFT developed decades ago really hasn't evolved or kept up with the market with said not that long ago they didn't see blockchain as a solution to correspondent banking. We've got well over 100 of their customers saying they disagree. In an official press release sued by the MUFG on November 9, 2018, the finance giant announced the signing of a memorandum of understanding to develop a new cross-border payment service as part of a joint effort between MUFG and Broadesco. According to MUFG, both parties trust that Ripple Incorporated, the creator of the XRP is the best option to give life to the project, 
Raw this MOU, MUFG Bank has decided to start the collaborative development for cross-border payments between Japan and Brazil, utilizing Ripple's cutting-edge technology. The new payment system, developed by Ripple, a San Francisco-based software vendor, will assist the banks as they work toward commercializing a high-speed, transparent and traceable cross-border payments solution between Japan and Brazil. NQ3 2018 RP Markets report shows that Ripple managed to sell $163 million in XRP, despite the volatility and negative behavior of the overall market. According to the report, $65.27 million were sold by the company while the rest were sold by a subsidiary registered as a money service business XRP Second LLC. Oinfield has further announced that an exchange system with XRP as the base currency will be available to its customers in 61 countries across the world. Users in these countries will only have to complete a simple KYC Know Your Customer process during registration. Mid-November, following many position contesting showcased by XRP towards Ethereum's second spot by market capitalization, it was able to overtake and stand behind only to Bitcoin. Because of its highly viewed characteristics when it comes to speed, low-fee cross-border transactions and its existing payment system which can challenge SWIFT any day, many cryptoverse analysts claim that if and when the crypto revolution comes in the tech and financial industry, Ripple's XRP will be at the front leading the change for the better.